Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create an expense tracker bot using Telegram, Google Sheets and Integromat as a no-code integration tool. First of all, let's create a bot. For this we need to find a bot father bot in Telegram, write start to him and uh, he will show us the comments available. So here we need to choose a new bot. Let's call it expense tracker. Let's call it expense tracker. And here we need to choose a username. My no code expense tracker bot. Perfect. So now we have our bot here. And uh, let's copy, let's leave it as it is right now and let's go to Integromat. So in Integromat I already have the bot implemented here and it consists of five steps. First of all, we receive a message here, then we go through two text parsers for number and for the category of, of the expense. Then we put that into Google Sheets and then we go back to Telegram and send a message uh, that uh, we have succeeded. So now let's create a new scenario here. Let's go to scenarios, create a new scenario. Here let's put telegram. And um, Excel. Google yeah let's click on continue here we have telegram bot and uh, we need to choose watch updates then we create a new webhook expense tracker create a new connection my expense tracker connection and here we need to paste token which we had uh, from the bot father on this one let's paste it here click continue now they're trying to connect so they successfully connected if they would not connect you would see an error message here let's click save uh, yeah expense tracker let's try to click on show address so yeah, probably this is correct address. This address you can use for some deeper integrations, but we don't need that so far. Click OK. Now, if you click on Telegram bot here, we won't say anything because it just watches for updates. OK. Then add another module, Google Sheets. And here we choose Add a row. Click on Google Sheets. Uh, you, can, you need to establish connection here, and then uh, here we can, here we leave it for select spreadsheet and sheet. For spreadsheet we select expense tracker. Then sheet one. Table contains header, no, yes. Let's put yes, even though we don't have the uh, headers here. But let's put some date, amount and uh, category. So now I have three columns here. Now let's make font bigger maybe. Let's put it to the center. So yeah, some basic stuff here. Vertical align middle. Okay. So let's continue. Um, yeah, so this is what we receive from Telegram here. And what we need is message, message, message and here we need date. And uh, here, let's try and put text over here. And let's see what happens. Let's try run once. Oh, I didn't save it. 
Yeah, don't forget to click OK here, because if you just click like this, it won't save anything. Okay, so now let's try to run once. And uh, as you can see here, the bot, uh, the integration is waiting for the data. Now let's try to write, so write something. Yeah, scenario was completed. Let's go to Google Sheets. And uh, cool, here we see the date, the amount, but we don't see the category. And also, I think that it will be handy to write like this. Groceries, 100. And um, it should put groceries under the category and the amount under this column. So how to do this? Uh, for this, we need to put some text parsers in the in between. Um, let's click on this. Add module. Add another module. Maybe we can do it like this. Ah, oh, yeah. So match pattern. Let's put it here. And this one we need to delete. Um, so for these text patterns. Um, we will use the regular expressions. Uh, the regular expressions is something that um, um, follows the pattern that you will uh, that you will assign and will find in the text input. In our case, it's a message from Telegram. Uh, it will try to find this pattern and uh, we'll put that into a separate uh, variable. Um, so here we see the example. Um, so this will create a variable name and the pattern is everything. So whatever you put in a text message here uh, will be will will go under this pattern. Uh, so basically, it's just useless. Uh, now, first we need to uh, to find the amount. For this, we put instead of name here as a variable, we put amount. And um, here, instead of dot and star, we will delete this. Here put backslash d plus so any digits any digits like this um, and uh, it should uh, take the input from uh, the text over here let's click OK and uh, here uh, we will put under this under the amount, you see that we have any variable here. Uh, whatever matches the pattern of the amount from text parser, we will put here, like this. Um, let's click OK. Uh, now let's try to run it once again. Listen for new. Um, yeah, so. 100 for coffee. It has been processed. Here we can look into the output. So input was uh, like this, and the output is, yeah, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing interesting here. Let's check out the sheet. Yeah, so as you can see, it processed the number here and put the number under the correct, under the correct column. So now what we need to do is we need to process gross uh, category here. So for this we create new uh, text parser, put it here in between. And uh, yeah, so the pattern is, uh, we again, once again copy this. Let's here put category. Category. We'll delete this and for this we need basically any letter from A to Z. Let's let's tell it like this A and also capitalized A Z and here put plus for the words not for not for the single letters and this will create a variable called category text input we take from text once again and you can see here what what was the last input click OK and in the Google Sheets once again we will put uh, that under the right column. So category, we have category here. Let's save it. And let's now try it run once. Listen for new. 
So let's say I have spent um, $60 on uh, utilities. It has processed, scenario was completed. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Um, so if you have troubles with the regular expressions, uh, there are a bunch of the websites, regexel.com with a cheat sheet, uh, where you can basically test your input. Let's try and test the text parser over here. Let's copy this, let's put it here. And yeah, we'll do the category here because this is something that we don't need in the parser. And as you can see, um, every every word here matches, but not these signs. Um, yeah. So this works. Here we have a cheat sheet for the uh, um, for the uh, for some popular uh, regular expressions. And uh, yeah, basically just put it here, and then after after you tested that, and uh, put uh, a name to capture the variable. That's also this, this website. This I like more. I prefer to use more. So yeah, let's try groceries. As you can see, for much, for much. And if I will type one two three, it won't highlight. That means it won't match. So yeah, with this, with this, you can test your regular expressions and integrate them into Integromat. Um, so yeah, let's save it and uh, let's put it on on run scenario immediately. Activate and now whenever I had some expense, I will put them here. Even two for coffee once again. Um, yeah, and I will instantly have it here. Uh, so this is how you can create a simple Telegram bot without knowing uh, code stuff, without knowing server stuff, and everything like this, just using your mouse, basically, and uh, some tools like Integromat. So subscribe for more videos, and um, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.